Mr. Mr. Mike, Larry O'Brien, it's his sight. Hit that subscribe bell. Don't forget to like it. Detroit Piston, Piston Mike. You know what time it is. You here for the update? Piston Mike, keep you informed. Make sure your substrate. So you don't ever go without the info that you need. Let's see the Pistons rise. To Detroit the top. Basketball. What's good, everybody? This is your boy, Pistol Mike. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't cost you anything. Not even a nickel or dime. Shout out to Alex for always keeping me updated. Make sure you click the link in the description for your merch. We gonna get into a very, very special topic, draft topic. Like I told you, you guys, this is four trade back options. Four players that I think fit the Pistons and four players they should trade back for. Number one. It's Chris Murray, Keegan Murray, brother. You guys been telling me he ain't really that good. He's not all of that. He's average. He's boo-boo. That's crap. Number two, he is a senior. He is a guard slash wing. It's Terrence Shander Jr. Both of these guys is in the Big Ten. Actually, three of them is. Three is Jet Howard, Jawan Howard, son. And four is Ricky Council, the fourth. I'm going to play you a couple videos of each one of them. We're going to get into it. Now, which one do I I would want the Pistons to go after? My top two would be probably Terrace Sander Jr. and Keegan Murray. And here's why. Number one, the uh, I know Keegan Murray is not much of a blocker or probably not as athletic as his brother. But number two, I think he's a better shooter. And the Pistons desperately need shooting. He is shooting 43% from three um, in 25 minutes, averaging 19 and a, uh, almost a half a game with eight rebounds a game, man. That is very impressive during the Big Ten. I don't care what you what you saying, what you calling it. I get it. His draft phase is 22, but his skills and his potential, he's going to at least be a solid, 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 solid role play. The reason why I like Tanner Sanders Jr. is is because he he's showing improvement overall. And 31 games this year, he's averaging 19 points a game. He's shooting 43% from the three. 43% and shooting about... 49% from the field. That is absolutely insane. That is crazy talk when we talk about players who really do this and players that have really done it and made an impact on winning in the game. Illinois is one of the best um, in the Big Ten, even with losing key guys like Kofi Coburn and Io DeSumer the last couple of years. By getting Trey, I mean Shannon, uh, Terrence Shannon Jr., they um they are back at the top because of him. And um, I remember at Texas Tech, he had a little bit of a downfall. He is six foot six with six almost six nine wingspan and plus a thirty inch vertical. So yeah, that don't help. That that helps out a lot. Um, 
Yeah, but them are my main two. But these other two guys are now slots. Jet Howard is shooting 38% from three, averaging 15 points a game. We're shooting 50% from the field, man. Real, real good guy. Um, six foot eight wing who could do everything. Looking like a lottery talent. Okay, athleticism, not too crazy. But if we talking about can rate for itself, can get to the paint, can get to the, um, the only thing I, I never seen him have a real, real strong mid-range game. He might need to work on that. But if we talking about like shooting threes and all that, definitely a guy that I like. I like, um, I like a whole lot. But the the major thing with him is is um he's young and the major problem when you piss the fans, I'm gonna be honest with you. Y'all think every player you gotta draft gots to be a superstar and that's just not or gotta be a star and that's not how real life is. That's not how basketball works. You got three or four players who can do whatever they want on that court. Everybody else is limited to their role, man. Uh, most of these guys is probably going to be coming off the bench. They might be French starters. They're just going to be average role players. The only guys who ain't going to be role players are the guys who get drafted at top, and that's it. Everybody else is pretty much role players. Are you hoping they can be more than just a role player? Maybe a starter, maybe a star, maybe a guy who averaged 50. You know, 10 to 15 and I give you really solid defense and give you everything on the offense. And, but last but not least is Ricky Council fourth. He's leading the Arkansas. He played at Wichita State for the first couple of years. He in 36 minutes, I think he's averaging 19 points. He's only he shoots 34 percent of three. I think 49 percent um, inside. Man, this is a guy who can get. In the paint, super athlete at six foot six. Um, layup package is crazy. Really good. Um, get into the paint, dunk on people. Layup package is finished. I think he averaged one point five steals a game. Get steals. A guy who he kind of reminds me of Hamadou Diallo. Um, Guy gets in there, calls chaos, don't care, don't ain't going to back at, down to nobody. Uh, that's a guy that I really like and would want the Pistons to get because I got a feeling like I'm going to do the aloe will, no, will not be part of the Pistons pass this year. I think he's gone. This trade that line, I really do. And it's sad to say, but I think he's gone. But... To replace him, I, I will go ahead and pick that. That's that's who he's going to be. I like him a lot. Um, he gonna be a chaos starter. Uh, he gonna create a lot of lot of lot of chaos. Um, he gonna be a guy that gonna come in off the bench, create a lot of chaos, make your team go on runs, and get you right back into the game. And that is valuable in the NBA. But that's why I don't understand why the Pistons don't play Hamadou Diallo. It's disrespectful. It's like, if you can't shoot at all, Dwayne Casey has nothing for you. Like, nothing to do on this team. It's just sad, man. His coach is outdated. We need to move on from him. But these are four trade-back options that I like for the Pistons. Um, I think most of these guys are in the first round around the lottery. Um, the only one a rookie counsel, but by the end of it, he might be just because his talent is losing. But these are four guys. You guys let me know what you think about these four guys. You know what I'm saying? Being trade back options for the Pistons for the 2023 NBA draft. You already know, man, I put in that work. I'm always working. I'm always grinding. I got more videos for y'all later. I got a podcast later. Make sure y'all stay in tune. It's your boy Piss and Mike. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't cost you anything. Not even nick or dime. Shout out to Ellis for always keeping me updated. Click the merch in the link in the description. Cash at dollar sign Piss and Mike. Piss and underscore Mike for my Instagram. Give me a follow, man. Peace.
Let's go. Detroit border is part of the culture. It's a deep base to betray you on the poster. You know the facts. The robbery test the roaster. Killer get hazed. Deadly handles our exposure. Cool composure. Team stack to win the chip. Act like I ain't told you. First round tick. Had him sick. K cunning hell. That's John Duncan, man. I don't know about y'all, but we come to I'm a Raza Grant. They all jumping in. Pissing Mike. We taking flight. Click like and subscribe. We can keep you right. Yeah, it's just the mic.